sometimes you just need to go to Epcot and you need to bring someone who hasn't been and someone else who hasn't been to Epcot. So today is gonna be an awesome day of Epcot and probably MK because you can never go wrong with all that's good when you go to the park. So uh, let's go cause some trouble, shall we? Yeah. Yeah? Luna, you down for some trouble? Yes, I am. I'm Come on. down for trouble. You guys watch this channel long enough, you totally know it's all about trouble. <laughs> Speaking of trouble, there's Captain Hook. They're ready to get Peter Pan. <laughs> we gotta go to Club Cool after that walk. We totally need to cool off. All the different soda goodness. Kind of reminds me of my trip to Atlanta, guys, to the Coca-Cola Museum. Let's get something good. Ari, how was the Beverly? <laughs> That's all she has to say about the Beverly. Come on, you so know that we're starting off with one of the best Vacomas ever built. Oh yeah, so can't wait to ride. Love this coaster so much so. You can never go wrong with Guardians. Luna, how was it? It's so good. One of my favorites. Ari, how was it? So fun. So fun. Still feeling that conga too, but that doesn't mean it's gonna conga it's gonna stop. The conga keeps going, as do we. So let's head over to the next part of our day. Found our way inside the test track. Let's go get testy with it. My car for the day, you can't ever go wrong with that. That looks awesome. It's got some decent stats too. Here's Luna's car for the day. All black is nice. And Ari's still building hers over there. Still looks awesome though. Test track was super fun. Shout out to Ari, she won, but she's nowhere to be found. So shout out to her. <laughs> so after getting off, brunch sounded good. So I totally went with a biscuit and gravy. So let's dig on in and get some food festival goodness. We found our way over to Mexico. You guys know what that means. Magalitas, cheers. <laughs> Somehow we found our way over to China and we just decided to get a bag of chips. So it's all about the Mexican chicken tomato flavor. Chinese chips. <laughs> These smell super sweet and almost like a churro in the runway. So let's try them. Those are like interesting. They almost taste like barbecue. Then they taste like teriyaki. Then they just taste like chicken. Oh, it all tastes like baked beans. She said beans. They literally got a mix of everything. I got honey. They're not bad, but we're going to continue to wander around some more and um, see where we end up in the world. As promised, another country of the world and another Ratatouille ride because Ratatouille is amazing. say other than that ride has gone to the rats literally to all to the rats that's okay it's each rat for his own but hey that one can cook an amazing meal so we're gonna continue to cruise around Epcot to I think we're gonna go to living with the land because you gotta live with the land the living with the land is so good see when I get to the land totally found the butterfly landing on our way over to the land so let's go check in see how many cool little butterflies we can find such a pretty little butterfly. Love that, so much so. Look how cool their wings are. She's so pretty. Fly, butterfly, fly. <laughs> that one's so pretty. I love how they're just chilling. So pretty. <laughs> that was so awesome. I love a cool butterfly. You can never go wrong with that. But as promised, we ended up at the land, so I'll hit you back when we get inside to have some more fun at the land. You can't come to the land and not go to Soarin' because you gotta soar around the world. Soarin' is always about row number one. Always row one. Well, Soarin's always a good time. Not soaring over California style. Soaring over the world, but soaring over California's better. I still do like the drunken pirate on the island. It's probably my favorite part of this one. But I wouldn't be going to the land without going to living with the land, so see you in the land. Living with the land boat ride. Oh yeah, it's boat time. Welcome to the world. I really, really love it in here. Look at those papayas. They look so yummy. 
mini they made it into a hidden mini oh it's so cute fishies the land the land the land need i say more it's the land well we're gonna cruise and we're gonna go end up somewhere and get some uh get some dinner and then i think we're gonna head over to mk so i'll hit you back with where we go because it's still kind of up in the air for now Sounds like it's gonna be fun though. I can tell, I know that. They're just riding the bus. We're on the bus. We left Epcot to take the bus. So we totally ended up at the Wilderness Lodge. You can never go wrong with one of these amazing, beautiful resorts. Just check out this lobby. So all about Roaring Fork, let's head on in. They have a couple scrumptious things on here. Can't go wrong with that. Totally don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but as soon as I find out, you'll see it. So I totally went with the meatloaf. It came with some mashed potatoes and some peas. It smells like barbecue. It smells super good. And then we also got some soup too. You can't ever go wrong with tomato basil soup. Let's dig on in. So I'm not gonna lie. That was all super yummy and actually really good. Meatloaf was very flavorful. Had a bunch of barbecue sauce all over it. The peas were good. The tomato basil soup had a little spice to it, but nothing crazy, but it was definitely really good and uh, definitely one of my favorite places I've found to eat on property so far. So let's go back to Wilderness Lodge. Well, I'm chilling for a minute in this beautiful lobby, waiting for my friends to come back. And as soon as they come back, we're going to go take a boat ride and go to MK because that's what you got to do when you leave from the Wilderness Lodge. You got to take the boat. The boat's just so cool. Boat time. Let's go. And we are on the boat, headed all the way over to MK, because that's what you do. Take the boat. So we find ourselves here at MK. Luna's first time seeing the castle. You can't go wrong with that. She's got to take it all in for a minute, because we have just found our way to MK. So let's go have some fun. Sometimes you just find yourself wishing it was tomorrow, and that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> It is all about the people mover. And we are cruising now along. Tomorrowland cruising. You know, that always is a fun time just cruising around. Just cruising. That just means we're gonna cruise to outer space next. So let's go to outer space. Space mountain time. Oh yes, so stoked on that. Space mountain, it rides like a janky aero coaster. I don't know why, but I just get aero vibes from this every time I ride it. So much so, Luna, how was it? I liked it. She liked it. Ari? <laughs> Something to scream about, I guess. But hey, we're gonna go to a place where it's perfect to scream right now. We're headed to the Haunted Mansion. So, <laughs> I'll try not to do that again until it's not scary farm time. <laughs> found our way to the Haunted Mansion. Wouldn't be the first time I found myself to a haunted house. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> You know, out of all the years of writing that, I've really, really come to love the unhappy haunts. Not the 999 happy haunts. I like the evil people because they're just so much better. <laughs> well, 
It's time to go uh, ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Row 15, you guys already know. It's all about Big Thunder, the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> well, Big Thunder was always so much fun in so many ways. Ari, what did you think about Big Thunder? <laughs> she was that person screaming, so that's why my ear hurts now. Keep it up, the great work, Ari. I was, I was expecting you to scream again. See, she's just blowing your kisses because she loves you all and she loves Pride Coaster Club. Ah! There's the scream again. <laughs> Sounds like Fright Fest. But hey, we're gonna go pillage and plunder and drink some rum because that's what else you do when you come to MK as I'm living in darkness. Feels like a nighttime vlog. Oh, they're so, so fun. Pirate time. Time to pillage and plunder and drink some rum. We want the redhead. We want the redhead. Hey, Our matey, pirate time was always a good time. Well, we're gonna cruise around. I'm not sure where we're gonna go just yet, but when I get there, I'll show you. Ending the night with the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. You can't ever go wrong with this awesome Vacoma. Well, Seven Dwarfs was super awesome, but as all good things do come to an end, Ari, she doesn't say nothing. I don't know. I think she's going a little bit deaf from all the crazy screaming from earlier, but hey, <laughs> I got a laugh. Well, Luna? I loved it. It was really good. She had an awesome day here at MK yeah, and beyond. So you know, you can't ever go wrong. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe here on YouTube as you never know what other random parks I might film for you. Maybe I'll come back here to Magic Kingdom, or you know what? I'm really feeling like a trip to Canada's Wonderland or your favorite park. Love you all. Peace. Bye. They're waving bye, so I'm just going to end it. Bye. Bye.